hello and welcome guys to Dark Souls Remastered Part 23, where I believe this is going to be the final episode as we prep ourselves, we have prepped ourselves uh, with a little bit more to go to get into that final door. So we're going to be going into the final door this episode, putting all the Lord Souls into the Lord Vessel. Um, and having a great time. Now, I was running through previous areas to kindle bonfires, um, and our old friend, very old friend that we've known for so long, Shiva, um, and his little invisible buddy are hanging out in here, because they disappeared from, um, they disappeared. So we're going to have a chat to them now, and these may be the last NPCs that I kill before we then proceed through the door. Hello again. Strange to meet away from the clan and the forest. But while you are here, how about some equipment? I love collecting these things. But I can only keep so many. And you know, you are a friend. I'll sell them cheap. Ah, learn gesture. Look skyward. I'll take it. Uh, purchase a weapon. Dude. I've got a whole bunch of shit that I haven't seen before. Flamberge. Great sword with an undulating blade is the choice weapon for the slithering serpent men of Sen's Fortress. Stone great sword, the stone knight to guard the dark root garden. Oh, that's awesome. Demon great machete we've seen before. Should tell. Created by Astor, Earl of Karim. Great skill to wield. Evades shield defense to sneak in damage. That's awesome. Uh, we just got that one. Washing pole. Katana fortune in Eastern Land. Demon's Great Axe, Claws, if you want to be Wolverine. Demon's Spear, oh that's the Batwing, there we go, they're called Batwing Demons. You got a ring as well, Eastwood Grain Ring. The special ring crafted in an Eastern Land is made of gold, but with a wood grain crest on its surface. The ring slows the loss of weapon durability and is particularly useful for bearers of delicate swords crafted in the East. Um, I'll, I'll take a ring from you. In terms of this stuff though, I feel like we might be able to like get these from enemy drops still, and this is like, oh, you can just buy it if you want. Um, so we will we will pass, but that's all good. See, you have a sharp eye for trinkets. Suits me fine. I'll be seeing you. And this guy, can we talk to him? No, nothing to say. Okay, uh, thanks for the ring. Uh, time to murder. You have some guts to turn on us. Goodbye. You poor fool. You. Sweet dreams, everybody. Sweet dreams. It was fun while it lasted. Ooh. Another ring. Darkwood. Grain ring. Murakumo. An iron round shield. Uh, let's have a look at uh, this second ring that I just got. And uh, no, no, let's have a look. Darkwood Grain Ring. Changes rolling action. Special ring crafted in Eastern Land. Uh, agents of subterfuge in this faraway land are particularly fond of the dark gold wood grain, which greatly alters its wear as a rolling action. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know about that. Hmm. Greatly alters its wearer's rolling action. Interesting. Um, and then we got Murakumo. Giant curved sword forged using special methods in Eastern land. Unparalleled weapon cuts like a katana, but is heavier uh, than a Nata machete. Requires extreme strength, dexterity, and stamina to wield. We can wheel it. There you go. Um, and then we got a shield as well, which is... Let's just scroll from the bottom. Iron round shield. Heaviest of the standard shields. Deflects enemy attacks. A famous specimen from Shiva's collection, but none who have faced it have lived to tell the tale. Until me! Alright, so we've murdered those, and I guess uh, that means we have, um, by extension, uh, betrayed <laughs> our covenant. Um, maybe we should go and have a chat to... Alvina, and see what she has to say, because she had some very specific rules <laughs> about don't betray people, um, and we just murdered it, and we might be able to then murder Alvina. Might be able to murder Alvina as the as the last as the last step. So I'll take a quick quick little dash over to 
Alvina and see what she has to say. Yep. Yep. I have betrayed the Covenant and therefore I will now be attacked by the people, by the Forest Hunters. Oopsie daisy. Alvina's gonna scold me for this one. <laughs> like, sorry guys. But you guys are trash! Oh, he survived. Hello, Alvina. I'm sorry. Oh, it is thee. Thine kinsmen are betrayed by thee. This doth bode most badly. No rest will ease thy rotten soul whilst there is one clansman living. Forever tormented thou shalt be by our very howls. Hellish villain, thou hast used us most foully, thine own family. For thee, no mercy shall be shown. Oh, she disappears. Not even a chance to kill her. Maybe you could have, I could have tried to kill her um, without the dialogue, but there you go. <laughs> Alvina now disappears. Off she goes. Um, Alright, I think... Wrapping up that part of the, the Forest Hunter Covenant by uh, never participating <laughs> and just murdering people means we can now um, go back to the Firelink Shrine and I'm going to place the Firekeeper Soul in the hands of Anastasia so she can give me a stronger flask and then Framped is going to take us down to the Lord Vessel. Um, I did also realize I skipped over it, but I did um, get Demon Titanite from that Titanite Demon down in Lost Isolith and leveled up my Dragon Slayer Spear um, to a plus five now. So that one's all uh, done and dusted. So here we go. Um, 31k souls. Just gonna chill with those, I guess. I assume that I... Should be able to gather up more souls for one last level up. It's a good thing that you're actually awake this time. I always have to hit this guy. Alright. Here we go. Oh, it is very urgent. It is It is just so urgent. It's literally the end of the game. Come yeah, on. We're ending it, baby. There's probably... There is things that we could still do and this is the that's the part of me that never wants this game to end is i'm like yes i could go and literally cover every inch of earth and keep doing everything else <laughs> but i need to i need i need to see this through it's been a long time coming this is it we're at file and culture we're putting the lord souls in i never thought <laughs> i never thought once in a million years that I would see myself in a position like this. It's been a hell of a wild ride playing Dark Souls with you guys, and for, for those of you who have stuck with me through the entire journey, for those of you who have been binge-watched to catch up, uh, for all of the support that I've received uh, to get to this point, you know, climbing over the hurdle of Ornstein and Smo, like all of that, I am blown away by by this game this has been an absolutely fantastic experience and i can't wait to go through this final door and proceed let's offer the souls to the lord vessel the captain of gwyn's four knights returns home to traverse the final door. Wow. Okay, it's open. What the hell is that? Uh, and we can continue to rest at the Lord Vessel. Um, have so we got anything that I can ingest at this point that's souls-wise? Just a soul of a brave warrior. Let's chuck it in. 
5,000. Alright, Framped. Hope I've done you proud, boy. This is it. Whoa. Whoa. Holy fuck. I thought those were enemies walking across down the bottom. Fuck. Okay, so they're like ghosts of night's past? Whoa. Kiln of the first flame. Fuck. The kiln of the first flame. There's fucking ash everywhere. Holy fuck. It's like some reverse stairway to heaven type shit. Are we just walking on ashes? Ooh, hang on. Is that an enemy? Face me. Yep. Alright. Ooh. I'm gonna get a little careless with you, aren't I? For a second there. Titanite chunk, thank you. What ring am I wearing? Getting more souls. Yeah. I'm fine with that. How much how much exploration do we have around this place? Much at all? <laughs> or is it just a straight run through like the the ash canyon? Okay, you've got a ooh shield bash. Get double backstabbed, dude. <laughs> better. Ooh, red titanite chunk. Alright, we're just getting, we're just getting chunks, dude. Wow. Um, I don't want to, like, slide off and die. Wow. Oh, hang on. Let me deal with this guy first. What? Come on. There you go. Ugh. Yes! Off you go. Probably not going to get the item there, because now the item is on the ground. Whatever that was going to be, that was going to be like a chunk of something, I assume. Okay, try not to kick the knights off. Because then we'll miss out on their items. <gasps> Dude! Black Knight cosplay. Where are we? Let's have a look. Uh, Black Knight Helm. The, the knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to link the fire, uh, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flame, wandering the world as disembodied spirits ever after. Haunt Lordran. So this is Lordran. AKA Kiln of the First Flame. So this is Lordran. Okay, and the, and the Black Knights haunt this place because they got fucking blown away 
when Gwyn tried to rekindle the flame. Oh shit, there's a fog wall. Damn, I wonder if this is literally just a final boss arena then. Instead of like a... an end game location. Oh, shit. Dude's got a great axe. Get in there, buddy. Do you know who I am? Ooh. He's really trying to... Ooh, we actually got the weapon too. Black Knight Great Axe. He's trying to put ash in our face. He's like, eat my ash. Um, Black Knight Great Axe. Used to face Chaos Demons. We need 36 strength to wield that puppy though. Yeah, we're fighting knights with every different type of weapon. We could just like go rest back at the Lord Vessel and then like grind them for their uh, for their weapons, I suppose. Just have to turn on my uh, put on my um, Helm of Avarice. I didn't think that would be a backstab. See, whenever I think it's supposed to be a backstab, it just isn't. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Okay. Need master. Imminent tail? Praise the sun. Need master. Okay. Here we go. It's a fog wall. Ugh. Okay. Prepped. This looks like it. This this might be this might be it. Um, in that case, I'm going to put on Havel's ring, and I'm going to equip the Dragon Slayer spear. So we have two weapons just in case my equip load is under fifty percent with the ring. So I still retain a dodge pyromancy flame on the left hand. Uh, probably should have taken poison mist off. That one doesn't really serve me much good. Alright. We're here. I was not expecting a boss arena. Oh, fuck it. Just goes straight into it. Whoa! Holy fuck. There he is. Not even a cutscene for the guy. He just goes and charges us straight away with his fucking flame sword. Wow. Gwyn, Lord, Lord of Cinder. There he fucking is. No, dude, I'm trying to take in the atmosphere here. We got, we got a goddamn piano boss theme, dude. That's when we know it's real. Wow, giant flaming greatsword. Is this the sword we could have created with uh, with a greatsword with the soul of uh, the soul of Gwyn? Can I backstab? No, cannot backstab. Oh shit, I. Mm. <laughs> I got stuck on the f I got stuck on the wall. Wow, the music's actually like it's not even it's not like an epic thing when you get in there and you're like this is the final boss and it's just like it's it's interesting. It's like it's almost it's sad. There's melancholy. It's like you get in there and it's like it's playing the piano. It's like the chosen undead versus um, the chosen undead versus Lord Gwyn. And it's just like a piano sort of like type experience. That's amazing. And also, I didn't expect us to be at Lord Gwyn immediately. I thought that like open the final door would take us into like a new location, which it had. But I was like, the reason why I didn't just continue and push through is because I was like, oh, I have literally no idea what's going to lie ahead. It could be uh, an hour to two hours worth of more stuff ahead so I couldn't just tack that on because I was I needed rest but maybe if I'd known that oh as soon as you go into the door it's a boss fight <laughs> then maybe uh, we can do decent damage to him um, with with this as well dude they drop items consistently they drop items consistently. 
Okay, I like that. Some good farming opportunities there. Which, unfortunately, you have to be at the end of the game to do, so you can't just, uh... You can't just do it on a new game plus, casually. You'd have to stay here and farm these items. Let's not kick that guy off this time, so we can get an item from him. Okay, they give the same drops as well. That's incredible, so Gwyn's just chilling there with his goddamn flaming sword. Just like as if he's just been waiting for this moment, you know? He's like, so so now the time comes. No cutscene, no dialogue, no anything. Man is just ready and waiting for us. Which is fucking incredible. Oh, hang on, I just realized I went the wrong way. Oops. 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 I've done a bad. Hold on. Oh no, please don't get kicked off. Okay, okay. I need to do this without backstabbing, or I ne Oh, never mind. Or I needed to backstab him a different way. It's fine, that's just the second time that one's happened. Holy shit, so he... Yeah, there he is. He's just standing there waiting. Wow. Alright. Final arena for Lord Gwyn. How was that a backstab? See, honestly, like, whenever I, f I feel like whenever I call the game out for not giving me a backstab when it should, <laughs> and then giving me a backstab when it shouldn't, I'm like, eh, I don't think I should have got that one. It's very strange how, um, how backstabs work sometimes, and where it decides to allow you to get that one in. Nice. Should we just dual wield our daggers for, for Gwyn? We'll toxic him with uh, the silver one in my right hand and put the gold one in my left. Because that's apparently how they're supposed to be wielded. Uh, from what I've been told. I wonder how good the spear will be. We're going to keep this because he fights, he fights close range. And also I was fucking around in the first fight to just kind of figure him out. Wow! I know what music I'm going to be listening to after I complete this game. This is beautiful. Ooh. Okay, I'm really just kind of messing around here. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to see how much the, da the spear would do. I'm definitely not fighting seriously, and I need to be. I'm just like going, oh, how much does my jabby spear do? As long as I can retrieve my souls, it's fine. I'm going to take this moment, because we're literally right at the end. I'm going to take this moment to just like talk about this goddamn thing, because what a game this has been. Honestly, you can tell that Ornstein and Smo is definitely like, it's definitely a make or break. There are definitely frustrating bosses along the way to get there. The Gaping Dragon gave me a lot of grief, but some people breeze through it. Uh, the Capra Demon is apparently notorious, um, notoriously difficult, and yet I didn't struggle too much. Um, and I really just want to attribute that to how lucky I got with eliminating the dogs. I think the whole fight against the Capra Demon is eliminating is eliminating the dogs for sure. As soon as the dogs are out of the picture, he's kind of like, you can dodge that guy. You can get the hits off. You can walk up the stairs, do what you need to do. But they, there are some, there were some goddamn painful fights. Ornstein definitely gave me the most trouble. Knight Atorius was then the the next one there because Jesus Christ. Uh, Knight Atorius was the one that I was like, that was the first boss that I came across in a while that I had to like, 
replay quite a few times because uh, dude definitely lives up to the legend. Um, I can't I can't wait to see how grueling he's going to be in New Game Plus. <laughs> Oh uh, my god, and Ornstein and Smo, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be a terrible time. Um but yeah, like honestly picking up this game, all that I had going into it was this game is hard, the whole you died thing. Um, you know, very big community focus on how brutal um and difficult this game is. And I think it's actually been really surprising and actually like, really nice to see that it's a game that is not just that. It's like, it rewards your patience. It rewards you for paying attention. Um, the game is, is very much... Um, Black Knight Sword, fuck yeah. The game very much, like, wants you to look a little bit further into things, read the descriptions, talk to the NPCs. They'll give you the direction they'll give you like those hints that push you in that right direction um and then the gameplay itself is like you can't just run past certain skeletons or zombies sometimes that are in most games just the the basic shitty characters enemies that you can skip like they actually will wreck you if you are not paying attention um at any point in the game really depending on how careless you are and i think that's like genuinely like fantastic like there are parts where I have had genuine struggles where I'm like, oh, this game is being hard or frustrating for the sake of being hard and frustrating. But then there are other times where I really appreciate what the game does and how it tries to, to do it. When it's like, god damn, man, it makes you really identify the, like, the skill. It, it makes you really realize... Um, how much you improve and it like the game shows you it's like hey look how much you've improved like yes you may be leveling up and getting stronger but you learn how enemies move you learn how to block you learn how to parry you learn your spells you learn to actually use your pyromancy instead of chucking firebombs at the bell gargoyle like it's it's stuff like that where you like it takes a little while to really grasp what the game is in the beginning, especially when you're not looking up anything and actually like learn that thing at face value and just be like, like this game has blown me away. I didn't expect the level of NPC interactions. I didn't expect the depth that that would give. I didn't expect to get attached to characters um, in that respect because I didn't know that they would even be any. That's why it took me a little while in the beginning. I didn't talk to the crestfallen warrior much like there are, there are people that I didn't talk to because I didn't know that that was like a part of the thing that I would like really needed to like nail down um and there's so much to learn from them like and it's and it's crazy and beautiful and just like frustrating and um one of the best games I have ever played um, and it's really nice to feel that while playing something like this, something that has brought out so many different emotions in me from, uh, from bad to good, but like to, to sit here playing this game, to get through at the end and not be like, oh, thank fuck it's over. It's more like, holy fuck. I never want this. I never want this to end. I never want this to end. Like, that's how I feel about this. It's like, holy crap. Oh, he actually managed to pick me up when I was in the middle of a dodge. So to be here, to be here at the end is very bittersweet. Wow, okay. Ooh, uh, I got lucky with some hits there. I'm not getting lucky with those. Ah, I keep getting stuck against the wall. I need to stop getting stuck against the wall. That's like my main issue right now. I need to stay in this middle area. Maybe I need to actually... Fuck. God damn it. I realized I wasn't actually blocking. I was like holding the block button. I'm like, ah, I'm dual wielding, man. I'm dual wielding. I'm going to just take all the damage. Sorry, two hand wielding, not dual wielding. Um, god damn it. Um, he's, he's difficult because it's like, I'm not, 
couple of a couple of false moves, and he will he will lay into you with that goddamn flame sword. All right, this is the this is the one where we this is the one where we focus up. That's, uh, those are some relentless strikes there, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, he, yeah, he, he'll, he'll get you once and then he'll just, he won't, he won't stop. You'll need to take a little moment to be like, fuck, I need a heal. And then he's like, nah, -uh, you're getting stabbed. You're dead tonight, boy. I got him out of stamina. Fucking hell, Gwyn. Just gonna attach you on that rock for a little bit. God, man, you've got some range on that thing. Oh, I hate when their attacks change directions. It's like my biggest pet peeve. Holy crap. Whoa, Jesus. Sometimes when you think you're like just out of range and it turns out you are very much not just out of range. Oh. 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 God damn it. I can't backstab this dude. I wonder if I can parry him. <laughs> Fuck. I'm like literally just drinking the juice just to survive at this point. Okay, so that stab specifically is one that can, um, dude, I, he literally like just locks you into a stun almost, like I'm up against the wall again. Holy crap. Dude, he's absolutely just hammering me. Got him knocked off his poise a bit there. And he's back to owning us. Oh. No! Dude, had attack. Oh no. Oh, I got so lucky there and I accidentally wasted another flask. Damn, I'm already at four. I'm already at four. Oh. I'm gonna throw a couple of these bad boys. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna get killed before I can do that.
No, I was- I had no stamina to dodge because I was blocking. I'm such an idiot. Come on, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Whoa, he's changing up the moves. Quick, desperation drink. Whoa, okay. <sighs> Holy shit, Gwyn. That's it, that's it. This is the last one. Come on, come on. <sighs> come on, don't choke. Don't choke, don't choke. Oh! Oh! Holy fuck. Oh my fucking god, my heart, man. Oh! Oh, my heart is pounding in my chest. Oh, hold on, breathe. Breathe, breathe. That man exhausted me of my, of my flasks. That man fucking exhausted me of my flasks. That was truly a desperate fight. Lord of Cinder versus the Chosen Undead. Oh, my God. I thought I had lost that. Was he a firekeeper? Or can we light the we light the bonfire? Link the fire. Holy fuck, but this is what Gwyn came here to do, right? Gwyn came here to link the fire, like rekindle the flame, and it fucked everything up. Or like brought about the age of fire? Am I am I is that what I am remembering right here? Dude, no flasks, no nothing. Uh, let's read the soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, who linked the first flame. He linked the fire. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burned as Cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. So he gave most of his power to the gods and he burned. He was the Cinder. That's why he's the Lord of Cinder for the first flame. Link the fire. What? Oh my god. To link the fire ending. Wow. Um, we lit on fire and fire explosion. Did we just take, did we just take his place? What happened there at the end? We link, we linked the fire. Wow. One of the best games I have I have ever played, hands down. Um, this has instantly gone into the favorites. Um, yeah, and it's it's not victorious or hopeful or triumphant. It's sad. It's like tragic. 
Like, think about the... Think about all the enemies we've had to face. That were all... Corrupted individuals. Creations of... Of this. Like, they were born out of the Age of Fire. They literally have, like... So many... Things to do with, like, undead and, like... Rebirth and... People going hollow and... Uh, Artorius losing his way. And... Like, there are, and, like, the, the Chaos Witch, Quilag, who was only just protecting her sister. Um, there's just a, there's just a lot that's very interesting about how this game is handled. Um, not in a bad way at all, like, it's actually fantastic. Um, yeah, it's, it's, oh man, it's, it's absolutely fucking crazy. Like these characters that we go up against that we face that are like they're ancient you know when, like uh, that opening cutscene in the beginning is like this happened a long time ago like we're fighting Seath who's been around since back then Hawkeye like uh, all these characters that have so much history that have been around for so fucking long, like, Grey Wolf Sif was there in the past as well. Um, damn, dude, like, there's, there's so much to think about, and that is why we will be, we will be getting into, uh, like, the lore, and into a New Game Plus type deal. There's our cast of characters. Um... Because I have had a playlist provided and constructed for me, which is the Dark Souls 1 Prepare to Cry stuff, I think. Um, which was all of that, all of those videos were made before uh, any of the other games came out. So they are safe to watch. That is what we'll be, uh, I'll be looking into lore and there'll be... New Game Plus stuff as well, um, so Dark Souls uh, will be continuing in, there's going to be a, bo a bonus episode that will include those things uh, for us to engage in, um, but this is its own separate piece of, this is the ending, you know? I wanted to have this final door. Indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Ornstein in jail. Hello, Oscar of Astora. This is crazy. I wonder if there is a story implication or reason for you getting chucked right into New Game Plus. Like, it's not like something that you choose. Um, you are thrown into it. You know, like it makes you be like, did the thing that happened where I linked the fire, like, is it is it ever, is everything like caught in a cycle? Because we carry exactly where we left off. Like, I've got no flasks. I've used my great fireballs type deal. Um, everything. Um, which is which is absolutely uh, insane. But guys, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Uh, this is this is the end of this episode. Uh, where we faced off against Gwyn. And he really put us, th put us through... Uh, <laughs> the ringer there. Uh, there will be a follow-up episode um, 
which will be, you know, I wanted that to be separate, self-contained, where we will be playing, um, exploring some new game plus, um, and also I will be reacting to the lore as well um, in that playlist that I've been I've been gathered. So guys, uh, this has been an absolutely incredible journey. I will be uh, I will be playing through um, every single Souls game. This was the one, this was like the make or break. It's like, if I can't make it through the first game, obviously I'm not going to continue, but like to the, I'm obsessed with this game and now I'm going to be obsessed with the series. So it will continue. It will not continue immediately because uh, I do need time in between these things um, to take a break and literally absorb the experience, you know, that I've gone through for the, for the first time. Um, and then we will very excitedly jump into the next the next game um again guys I, I can't thank you enough i really appreciate the support and positivity about this playthrough and i hope you join me on the next one i hope you uh enjoy um this series as a whole it took a long while to learn some things <laughs> to from the beginning but we've come we've come a long way um and with that one guys i will see you next time